A contingent of detectives drawn from different departments at the DCI National Forensic Lab visited nominated MP David Sankok's home to reconstruct the scene of the legislator's son, Memusi Sankok's death. The glaring inconsistencies in witness statements and grey areas dotting the 15-year-old's death led to the takeover of the probe by homicide detectives from the DCI headquarters, who are also expected to be present during a repeat autopsy to be conducted Friday. Hassan Mugambi with the details of what the detectives are after. The wall-to-wall -wall documentation of the scene began by the exact distance between nominated MP David Sankox or Sim Lodge and his house in Narrow County. The team of detectives from different departments of the DCI National Forensic Lab cordoned the house and went in donned in white attire. They sought to reconstruct the scene of Memusi Sankok's death, the position where his body was found and possibilities of how he managed to take his own life by shooting himself in the chin using a shotgun. Samples from the brain splatter in the room where Memusi is suspected to have shot himself were collected and observation made on whether they were consistent with a close-range shot. Another round of questioning was effected for family members and staffers at the nominated MP's home. Earlier, there were glaring inconsistencies in statements recorded by detectives in Narrow County where some family members are reported to have had different versions on the whereabouts of some members during the incident. Measurements of the shotgun used were taken and will be matched to the length of Memusi's hands to try and establish how he was able to pull the trigger and end his life. Gunpowder residue is expected to be found on his hands if at all he pulled the trigger. The repeat autopsy to be conducted by Chief Government Pathologist Johansen Odwar is expected to establish whether Memusi had burns on his chin as forensic psychologists have it that in most cases of suicide the victim presses the gun nozzle against their skin to avoid missing the shot. This causes a burn, popularly known as tattoo. The experts also skeptical about the version that he accessed his father's gun in a safe and walked with it to a different room to take his life. They aver that deaths by suicide mostly happen immediately the person gets hold of the gun. The autopsy is expected Friday at Omash Funeral Home in Nakuru, where Memusi Sankok's body was moved last week. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.